When designing a bike at Ridley, our primary goal is always the same, to build the best race bike in the world. The concept of each and every Ridley design originates from the same precept. Cyclists from all abilities and backgrounds, be they amateurs, professionals or club riders, all want the same thing, to ride on the best and fastest bikes available. Our development process is both simple and efficient. We start a wish list with clear goals to be implemented in our range. Every solution is thought out with the same philosophy. Form follows function. Before we put our frames into production, our comprehensive list is converted to 3D computer designs, on which we carry out extensive testing. The results of these varied tests has formed the basis of some of the greatest innovation. The integrated seat tube with the corresponding seat post clamp provides extra stiffness and an improved aerodynamic function. Oversized head tubes were introduced by Ridley in 2001 on the Damocles and they're now the norm in the bike industry. The vibrations on the fork are significantly reduced because the forces developed in the head tube are spread over the larger surface of the oversized bearing. This improves handling and provides extra stiffness on the fork. In addition to physical wind tunnel testing, we work heavily with 3D simulation modeling, which allows us to cover all variables. The prototypes developed from these designs are originally stress tested on the computer once these model tests are satisfactory, we move the testing process to the field and our Ridley professional riders. Our pro team riders are constantly testing our bikes and provide continuous, invaluable feedback. We take this feedback very seriously and implement much of it into further and continued development of the bikes. The models available to buy by the public are direct derivatives of those tried and tested by the professional riders. The technology becomes available to the public with no modifications or shortcuts only six months after the race teams have been issued with it. For some prototypes, we develop plastic models using 3D printers. These mock-ups allow us to test both the form and function of the technology before committing the designs to production. These prototypes are continuously fine-tuned until every detail has met with our high standards. The choice of the different carbon fibres is crucial. Our carbon frames require more than a hundred different carbon fibre materials. Every layer of carbon requires the exact strength and stiffness with different layups in different frame locations. We use the knowledge and experience of our engineers to determine the correct layup schedule of the carbon layers in order to obtain the best results. Our ton rating is very simple. It simply refers to the strength rating or tensile modulus of the carbon. The higher the rating, the stronger the carbon. Thus, less material is required. Our ton ratings are 60, 50, 40, 30 and 24 ton high modulus carbon fiber. After the development phase, we produce molds for the production of raw carbon frames. Once the moulds are fully developed, frames can be produced in whatever quantity is dictated by the demands of the market. Our team coordinate the logistics and delivery of frames and components to our sizeable holding warehouse. We monitor both supply and demand to ensure that we always have enough frames and parts on hand to build each possible variation of the bike available. The spec on each model of the bike is always trickling down from the higher end models and the design of our bikes is continuously being refined, meaning that keeping on top of these changes and maintaining sufficient but not flooded stock levels is a demanding task.
The raw frames are quality checked thoroughly with special attention to our carbon frames before they're sanded, cleaned and prepped by hand. The frames then enter the production line for painting and final preparation. From an early stage, our design department are heavily involved in designing the visual look and finish of the bikes. We've been specialists in hand-painted frames since the birth of Ridley in 1997. This extensive experience has given us a world-class understanding of design and paint and their application to every possible type of material. Each model of bike has a unique design, which is created in-house, incorporating the feedback and requirements of our team, our component suppliers, and the pro race riders. The design is modified to fit each frame size. These designs are then split into layers, each one representing a color layer of paint. These are printed out onto a film using a precision plotter printer. A small blade cuts into the film from incredibly detailed coordinates. We subsequently pick out and peel back the cut areas to reveal the stencil or the negative of the design. This film is then stuck onto the application layer. Each sheet represents the size specific stenciling for each relevant frame. These are clearly marked with all the necessary logging and application details and are filed. The stencil application layer allows the transfer film to be precisely applied to the frames for spraying. This masks certain areas of the frame against the paint, while acting as a window for the paint to be sprayed. Every colour and design detail that you see on the finished frame will have been carefully applied by hand, one layer at a time. These transfers are applied to a previously prepared frame, which has been sanded and cleaned. At this stage, the actual painting begins. At Ridley, we draw on our heritage and roots as master frame painters to deliver the highest quality paint finish. The painting process is applied in layers, beginning first with a clear coating which acts as a primary bonding layer to the frame. This layer is then left to dry. Once the base layer is dry, subsequent colour layers are applied in reverse order to what's visible on the finished frame. After each stage of painting, the frame is once again left to dry before adding the next layer. After the final colour details are added, in this instance, the red of Ridley branding. The paint is once again left to dry. Once the paint is dry, the stencil transfer layers are removed to reveal the nearly completed frame. This is a delicate task, which often involves precisely removing tiny details of the transfer layers. The frame is then cleaned and the paint finish is quality checked before having a final clear coat lacquer applied to the entire frame to complete the process. Once the clear coat has dried, the frame is baked gently in an oven. At the end of the painting process, frames are quality checked again milled and prepared for either full bike assembly or shipping as a bare frame. Frames can be assembled using thousands of individual components and tens of thousands of possible variations. Our staff select the parts specific to each model or custom specification and sort them with each frame along two stages of picking. 
Each and every component on the bike is picked and assembled by hand. Assembly is done individually by train mechanics. All Ridley bikes are built individually and never in a production line. By working this way, we are able to offer a greater number of possible model variations. And because each bike is constructed by an individual mechanic, we are able to ensure the quality remains at the highest level at all times. The completed bikes are then boxed ready for shipping. Our bikes are shipped direct to retailers in Europe and shipped via distributors in the rest of the world. We have a global presence and our main international markets are Europe, Japan, USA, Australia, South Korea and Canada. Each product and model of bike is extensively photographed in full 360 degree panoramic for our catalogues, websites and promotional materials. Our dedicated and knowledgeable sales team spread the word of our new products and bikes to our retail clients. This often includes on-site visits by our clients to the impressive Ridley showroom. Our clients are extremely important to us and we take great pride in showing them around our factory to give them an in-depth insight into our philosophy for engineering Ridley bikes. In buying a bike from Ridley, you'll have the peace of mind that each and every calculation, shape and design decision has been made and implemented by our passionate staff following extensive testing, development and scrutiny. Throughout the lifespan of each model, there's continued development, modification and ultimate improvement of the bike. We are Ridley. We are cycling. We are Belgium.